Now that you got an idea on what type of equipment you need to capture great stills from a zip line, let's talk a bit about safety. There are a lot of places to go zip lining in Costa Rica, and this was a surprisingly family friendly event. I saw people of all ages zip lining, and there's a couple things that I'd like to point out. First up, always go with a reputable company. You can do searches and find that most of them are regulated by the state. And this is good because it means that the equipment has safety checks. Also look for reviews and make sure that you see a good solid company. If you're a bit afraid or you're traveling with someone that's a bit meek, they do give you the option, particularly for children, that they are tethered to an adult guide. This means that an adult who is an experienced zipliner who actually works for the company will be attached, buckled with carabiners to your child or your person who's a bit nervous and they will ensure that they get safely from one post to the next. Now you think zip lining, that's just like what the kids do in the backyard. It's a little bit more intense. Some of these zip lines are 800 meters long. Think about that. That's about the length of nine football fields. That's a pretty good distance to cover. You may also find yourself 800 feet up in the air over the forest floor. It's exhilarating to be zip lining down past a giant waterfall until you look down and you think about, wow, that's pretty far. Now, I loved it so much that we went twice and my kids wanted to go again too. So it's really a lot of fun, but it's not for everyone. Before you go on the ones that are huge over the rainforest floor, you might find a smaller local company that has really simple courses that you could try out or even experience zip lining before you leave your home country and see what you think. This is not for the meek. And remember, your safety is the most important thing. I always say that the equipment is disposable, meaning that you can replace a camera, but it's pretty hard to replace a life. If you're going to bring camera gear with you, consider very small lightweight cameras like a GoPro or a point and shoot action camera. I brought a rugged camera, one from Pentax that I was able to clip on to my harness. And when I wanted to take some great shots, I got some great shots. But the iPhone stayed in a locker and the Micro Four Thirds and the DSLR did not come at all. Most of these companies are not going to allow you to bring big bulky camera gear. You don't want a camera strap or lenses to potentially get in the way of the safety harnesses or the equipment that you need to use. But don't worry, those small point and shoot cameras and GoPros can actually get some pretty good shots and we'll take a look at enhancing some of those at the end of this section. Plus, if you want shots of you or your family participating, all of the companies that we looked at provided photographers who will actually take shots of you while you're zip lining. Now these guys, I have a lot of respect for. Imagine seeing a photographer zip lining right in front of you, just a few feet in front initially, and they're going down full speed with their back to the course, shooting you as you go. These guys really know what they're doing and they've shot this quite a bit, but I had a newfound respect for just how good these guys were. So if you need some shots of your group or you just wanna get some shots of the zip line experience, you might decide to let them do it. But because you probably are interested in photography and enjoy the challenges, let's talk a bit about the equipment and how to use it so you can get some usable shots.